So it's a new week, new preparation for that extreme impactful moment. And as you can see, new pit vipers. These just came in. And people said, even though the pit viper carnivores look cool, the Irish Extreme needs some green. So I got these Boomer Slain fades, otherwise known as pit viper Irish Extremes. That's what I'm calling them. Uh, it's not mirror tinted, but it's still tinted to block out the sun unless you go like that. And you see everything all perfect. But uh, it is tinted to where it blocks out the sun. And uh, so, yes, I did call out the big LG. Oh, wait. For bar fights, it's Sex Ferguson. Because I'm going to be making my DCW bar fights debut next month when impact evades and I am going to be accepting Manny Smith challenge of always challenging me for a fight at bar fights this time I actually get to make bar fights and I will accept his challenge and yes if sex Ferguson decides to get his big goofy mug in the Irish Extremes business, I will have no problem slapping his silly glasses and that ridiculous boat captain's hat off of his head and punching him square in his jaw. And that could be an impactful moment. And something else that's happened, the Irish Extreme checked his weight I don't want to put it out there yet because I'm saving it for the Saturday weigh-in, the weekly weigh-in I do. But the uh, the Irish Extreme has had an extreme weight loss since I started this whole intermittent fasting, and right now I am at a point. In my weight that I have not been in for years which this is transforming my body making my body in better shape that will help when I do make that impactful moment and will help my aggression and help people see the real Irish extreme so right now, I just want to say that it's an extreme weight moment. This extreme weight is exhilarating with what I just saw. So wait for later on in this episode and you will see that point that I have not been at for years. So it's that time of the week again. Taking the dog on a walk for some cardio which is a good time to uh, show these bad boys these new pit vipers the boomer slain but let's call them what they are Irish extreme pit vipers the Irish extreme green take them out and about on the usual walk the usual cardio around town and uh because people are used to seeing me in the carnivores with the mirrored lenses. Let's see how they like me in the Irish Extreme Green. Leaving the tanning salon, getting my weekly tan down. Uh, another thing that you know that pro wrestlers do uh, be another thing to help look good for this Impact Wrestling tryout to look the part and especially with the extreme weight that's going on it's definitely going to make it look even better with the tan uh, definitely impressed with what's going on this week but yeah it's a good, good time good week like I said definitely been years since I'm at where I'm at now with the weight 
and uh, just going to keep improving, keep working harder, keep getting better. Uh, I apologize to all the rain announcers who have to keep adjusting my build weight. Maybe you guys should go back to the uh, tapped kegs of Guinness, even though now it's less and less tapped kegs of Guinness that I'm weighing. And because uh, that'll make it a lot easier than going by the actual weight. Go back by the Guinness, just like my Extreme Guinness shirt, which go on www.prowrestlingtees.com backslash Irish Extreme and uh, help me out by buying a shirt. That's where most of us wrestlers get most of our uh, pay is from our merch sales. And uh, get the uh, Extreme Guinness shirt. It's been uh, talked about. People have been buying it. Get it. It's a wonderful shirt. So, ring announcers, instead of keep having to go back and back and back with my weight, just uh, go back to the tap kegs of Guinness weight. And uh, and then it'll be a lot easier than having to readjust every show. So just go back to that and uh, it should be good. But uh, got done with the tannin salon. And uh, later tonight, the uh, tonight will be bench press. So chest tries and uh, of course the nightly abs workout again awesome to see the progress this weight loss that I'm going through this extreme weight that's happening this is another thing that's gonna create an extreme impactful moment when I return to DCW they're gonna realize and see that there's more of a change going on with the Irish extreme. So while they see that my weight is becoming better, that my look is becoming better, they're going to realize that it's going to also help me become the real Irish extreme. They're going to realize that this extreme weight is going to help me bring that aggression, bring that attitude, bring the pain to whether it's someone like Manny Smith at bar fights, whether it's someone like the big goofy Sex Ferguson at bar fights, whether it's whoever's standing across the ring from me at the DCW show. Whether it is someone in my way at that impact tryout. This extreme weight is going to help someone go to the extreme. And help me create that extreme impactful moment. So it is Saturday. Which means I have my Saturday morning weigh in. So... Let's take a look at what it said. A hundred and ninety nine pounds. It's been years, years since I've been under two hundred pounds. And this is that extreme weight that I'm talking about. Putting in that hard work for this impact tryout that's coming up. Putting in the hard work to perform in front of Impact Wrestling's Executive Vice President, Scott Demore, and in front of one half of the Good Brothers, the big LG, Dot Gallows. That hopefully, I'm waiting to hear from him. Not just from him, but from Sex Ferguson about bar fights like I said if he wants to get involved in the Manny Smith versus Irish Extreme bar fights 
I'll knock those silly glasses right off of him. I'll take his silly little captain's hat and shove it down his throat. So, whatever it is, whether he wants to sit there and watch, have a good time, and drink on his, on his talking shop bourbon, you have at it. If he wants to get froggy, have at that too. And then there's Jameson Ryan. Jameson Ryan, who got all butt hurt because I called him Jameson Ray-Ban. Because he was the one who talked about Ray-Ban over Pit Vipers. So, I used it. Got a response. Good job. But, let me just say, showing the weight loss that I've gone through from working out, from getting ready. So yes, I may not have all those muscles, but yes, I do work out. I do go to the gym, my home gym. And uh, let's just say, if he wants Phil Froggy, let's just say all the gym time, all those flashy muscles, they may look nice, but they're not going to help you if your jaw gets broken from a knee to your face. It's not going to help you from getting your teeth punched down your throat. And it's definitely not going to help you if you get a concussion from being spiked on your head with the clover cutter. People's going to see the real Irish extreme this time. People's going to see the pissed off, angry, aggressive Irish extreme. Jameson Ryan. You know what? Jameson Ray-Ban. Just worry about Buff. Brett Buff Shea or whatever his name is. Just worry about Buff Shea. Have your battle of the bods. Because I will go for the pain. Go for making you hurt. Go for making you bleed. And all of your flashy muscles won't stop you from bleeding. Won't stop the pain. So just worry about Buff Shea. And, uh... Just sit back and watch this pissed off, angry Irish extreme bring in the pain, bring in the extreme to other people. Two weeks away. Two weeks away. And everybody's going to see the better shape I'm in from this extreme weight.